करते जाओ जब तक जी मैम Excellent, Devangshu. Anyone who haven't understood number sixteen, number fifteen. Roshni, you can ask. Okay, Roshni, I'm explaining it. See, which one, Roshni, fifteen or sixteen? Yeah, number fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, Devangshu, can you explain number fifteen, Mita? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, fifteen. Yes, fifteen. Ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. What is the difference in weight of the heaviest child and the lightest child? Lightest. Lightest. Yes. Yes, child. Meaning, what? What the difference? Heavy. Minus like this. It is that is nine is lo lowest heavy biggest and Misa is a is ah Misa is the heaviest heaviest. Or it is a minus so. Thirty-five minus twenty is this fifteen. Very good, excellent, Devangshu. So what you have to do, Roshni, you have to find out the difference between the heaviest and the lightest child. First, you have to find out who is the heaviest and what is his or her weight. Similarly, you have to find out who is the lightest and what is his or her weight. Since it is telling difference, so what which method will you follow, Roshni? Uh, yes, which method? Beta addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. Which method? I'm adding. No, adding is total. If you have to find out the difference, then what you have to do? Uh, subtracting. Very good. Do the subtraction. Um, these all numbers. Not all the number of the heaviest child and the lightest child. Who is the heaviest child here? Find out the heaviest oh, child. Ma'am Misha. Very good. What is the weight of Misha? Thirty-five. And what is the weight of the lightest child? Ah, uh, ma'am, uh, five. Lightest child. Who is the lightest child here? Nian. No. Nana. Very good. What is the weight of Nana? Five. Nana weighs how much, beta? She does not weigh five. Uh, ma'am, ten. No. You have to read this graph. What is the weight of Nana? Twenty. Very good. So twenty and thirty-five. If you subtract these two numbers, what is the answer? Ma'am, just a second. Sure, number fifteen is correct. Excellent. The bang shoe fifteen is correct. I got the answer from Shivam Debangshu and Shok. I need the answer from Fruti and Roshni. Roshni, excellent. Fruti, send me the answer of number fifteen, beta. Okay, Fruti, you have to find out. Yes, Roshni. The next one is correct. Number sixteen is correct, Roshni. Except Shivam and 
ओके देवांशु नंबर सिक्सटीन इज करेक्ट बेटा एक्सेप्ट शिवम एंड देवांशु ऑल ऑफ यू सेंड मी एंड रोशनी ऑल ऑफ यू सेंड मी द आंसर ऑफ नंबर सिक्सटीन शोक शोक सेंड मी द आंसर ऑफ नंबर सिक्सटीन बेटा Yes, Ruti, you have to do number fifteen and sixteen. Have you understood number fifteen, Ruti? Yes, ma'am. Then do it and send me the answer. Rest of you can continue with number seventeen. Ma'am, I want to ask you a question. Yes, yeah, Shivam, tell me. Then number seventeen answer is not there. It's not there. Just a second. Yes, because ma'am, it will be one thousand four hundred thirty-eight. No, it's there, beta. Check your answer. It's there, Shivam. Check your answer once again. Ma'am, is it correct? Just a second. Sruti, not number eighteen, but I want the answer of number sixteen, and it's wrong. Wait, Sruti, I'm explaining. Just a second. Seventeen is wrong, Shivam. Check the answer again. Shuvak, number sixteen is wrong, Vita. Okay. See, Sruti, here in number fifteen, it is asking for the difference in the weights of the heaviest and lightest shell. Sruti, first tell me what will you do if you have to find out the difference? Will you add or subtract? Subtract. Very good. So, who is the heaviest shell, Sruti? Misha. Very good. Misha is the heaviest child. Now, what is her weight? What is the weight of Misha? Thirty-two. No. Look carefully. What 35. is the thirty-five? Very good. Thirty-five is the weight of Misha. Now, you tell me, Bita, who is the lightest child? Nana. What is her weight, Bita? Twenty. Very good. Now do the subtraction. You will get the answer. Roshni, number seventeen is wrong, beta. Shivam, seventeen is wrong. Ma'am, fifteen to G. Roshni, seventeen is correct. Excellent. Very good. Truti, number fifteen is correct. Okay, let me explain number sixteen for you all. You all also see. Number sixteen. What you have to do? If Nana's weight increases by five kg, then what is the total weight of the five children? Then first, Ruti, you tell me what you have to do. Will you subtract or will you add? Add. Very good. Excellent. Now, Shuvak, tell me what will you do? Will you subtract or will you add, Shuvak? Now, which for which class the maths class is going on? Number sixteen, brother. Yes, which class? It's for class three and four. Okay. If Nana's weight increases by five kg, then what is the total weight of five children? Five children. Number five is eight. Yes. What will you do, Beta? Will you add or subtract? Tell me which process will you follow? You have to find out the total. 
Coming, Shuo. Shuo, tell me, unmute yourself and tell me, Becca, will you add or sub, uh, subscribe? Number 18. Yes, very good. You have to add. Just a second. I'm doing that. Rujana, do number 15, Becca. Yes, ma'am. Number 15. Rujana, start from number 15. 16. 15. 1, 5, 15. Yes, I'm yes, ma'am. And send me the answer in chat. Yes, you tell me better. What will you do, Shok? Yes, Shok, you told me you have to add. So add all the way. And you can follow. You can do the sum in two ways. Either you can increase the Niner's weight first. That is, you have to add 5 to the Niner's weight and then add up all the weights that are available. Or either at first you have to add Niner's weight by 5 kg and then add up the rest of the weights. Or you can also do in another way. You can add all the weights up and then add five to that way. In both the way, in both the way, you will get the correct answer. Ma'am, option C. Very good, Shlo. Excellent. I need the answer from Sruti also. Sruti, have you understood number sixteen? Then when the class will be finished? When the class will be finished, class will continue. But if you want to leave, you can leave. The class has just of number eighteen. Can you check? Wait, I'm checking. Just a second. Sruti, first tell me, have you understood the sum? No, ma'am. Here you have to add all the weights that are available and then add five cages. Do it, Pita. Okay. Number 17. Let me explain number 17 for you all. Sujana, have you understood? Okay. Sujana, number 15 is correct. Send me number 16, Sujana. I have sent you the answer of number 18. Can you check it? Roshni, yes, I'm checking. Just a second. Okay, Roshni, do one thing. Can you explain number 17? Yes, ma'am. Do it better. Ma'am, I can't understand number 16. Okay, Roshni, first explain number 16, then go to number 17, Roshni. Yes, ma'am. It is saying if Naina's weight increase 5 by 5 kg, then what is the total weight of the 5 children? We have to add this. We have to add. And the answer is will come 145 kg because we have to add these numbers and we will get the answer. Very good. Excellent, Roshni. Okay. See, uh, Sruti and both Sruti and Srujana, both of you are wrong. So, Sruti, what you have to do, what is Naina's weight? Shruti, tell me what is Naina's weight? Ma'am, 20. Ma'am, I have reset Sujana. Ma'am, Sujana, excellent. Okay. Now, tell me better, what will you do with number 20? You have to add number 5 to 20. Tell me then what is the result if you add 5 to 20? Udit, excellent. 25. Very good. So, 25 is the weight of Naina. So, if you add Varun, Gaurav, Naina, Arun and Mishra, what is the weight? So, what is the weight of Varun, Beta? 
25. Very good. So add 25 plus 25. What is the weight of borrow? Tell me, Suti, what is the weight of Gaurav? Ma'am, I have to do that. Ma'am, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, check it. Roshni, just a second, but I'm checking. Yes, yeah. it's 30. So, 25 plus 25 plus 30 plus, what is the weight of Arun? Tell me, better. what is the weight of Arun? What is the weight of Arun? Yes. 30. 30. Very good. And what is the weight of Misha? 35. Very good. So add all this number. You will get the answer. Yes. Now, Roshni, explain number 18 to everyone. 17 or 18? 18. Okay, Roshni, wait. Yes. First, explain number 17. Then go to 18. It is written the difference between 7,505 ones and 5,057 ones is we have to just take a method to do this. It can be B. It is not C. I mean, it is not B because it is taken 2 at 4. It, it is wrong. And number C is also wrong and number B is also wrong because this is not the difference of these numbers. So, A is correct because this is not this number. It is not difference. Only okay, A is the difference. Roshni, can you tell me one thing? Can you tell me 7,505 ones? How will I write it in figures? Uh, Ma'am, we have to... Ma'am, can I send it in chat? No, just tell me. I will write it. Uh, Ma'am, 7,005. Zero... Uh, seven, five... Very good. Excellent. Now tell me, how will I write 5,057 ones in number? Uh, Ma'am, 5057. Seven. Excellent. Right. So, Shivam, what we have to do, we have to just subtract this two numbers. You will get the correct answer, Shivam. Ma'am, I cannot Ma understand number 19. Who cannot understand number 19? Ma'am Roshni. Roshni, your number 18 is wrong better. Both Roshni and Debangshu. Wait, I'm explaining number 18 to everyone. Ma'am, I send you number 17. Yes. Uh, Udit Narayan, if 27 is equal to 17, then your answer is correct. Yes, Udit, it's correct. Shruti, it's wrong, beta. Okay. Let me first explain Shruti. Shivam, send me the answer of number 17 again. I haven't received your answer. You can see this, Shivam. We have to subtract this two number. Then we can get the correct answer. No, 17 is not C, beta. We have to subtract this two number, 7505 and 5057. Very good. Then 16 is correct. No, 16 is not correct. I'm explaining it. Wait. Then 16 will be option B before bat. No, it's not B for bat, beta. Ma'am, I have given the answer. Yes, Shivam, you are correct. Now, everyone, do number 18 who can understand, who cannot understand. Wait, I'm explaining number 18. 18 is nothing. You just have to see which number cannot divide 96 exactly. That is without having any, uh, with having a remainder. That is any number which is having a remainder except zero. That is the correct answer. Okay. Now, Sruti, see. What is the weight of Varun? Tell me.
श्रुति वट इज दरुण बेटा Twenty. Twenty plus five is how much, beta? Because Nana's weight will increase by five kg, so twenty plus five will be how much? Thirty-five. Five plus thirty. Five plus twenty. Nana's weight is twenty. It will increase by five. So what is the what is the twenty-five? Let's let's Shruti tell it, beta. Shruti, tell me what is the new weight of uh, this girl, Nana? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Very good. Now, Sruti, tell me what is the weight of Varun? Varun. Not Varun. Twenty-five. No, Arun. Thirty. Is... Very good. Arun is thirty. Okay. What is the weight of Misha? Thirty-five. Very good. Now add all these numbers, brother. You just have to add this number. Add it, you will get the correct answer. Yes, Roshni. Roshni, number eighteen is correct. Okay, number eight. Number nineteen. Roshni, number one hundred forty-five kg. Very good, excellent, Shruti. You can do number seventeen. Roshni, explain number eighteen, beta. Yes, ma'am. It is related. Which one of the following is not the factor of ninety-six? We have to divide this number. Um, when we divide three with ninety-six, it is coming zero. When we are dividing four with ninety-six, it is also zero. When we are dividing six with it is also coming zero. The answer will be seven because it is. It cannot divide directly. Very good, excellent. So we have to find out when we divide this number ninety six with all these numbers, there is a remainder except zero. If the remainder is zero, that will not be the answer because it will be a factor of ninety. Have you understood, Trujana? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wait, brother. Explain number nineteen. Nineteen, I will explain it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, wait. Ma'am, can you check so the number? Number eighteen is correct, brother. Trujana, have you understood? Ah, uh, ah, uh, is number nineteen clear to you, Trujana? Yes, ma'am. Okay, then explain it. Okay, ma'am. If star plus triangle equal to twenty three zero twenty three zero nine two thousand three hundred nine five five suns equal to four four thousand three hundred sixty five. Sun plus triangle one thousand nine hundred twenty seven. Find out the value of star. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Now. Now what we have to do? See, here five. This five. This figure is given four three six five. Okay. Now we can. What can we do? If we bring this number from left hand side to right hand side, we just have to divide. That will give us the value of this figure. If we know the value of this figure, 
then we can find out the value of triangle in the same way. If we move the number from left hand side to right hand side, the sign will become the opposite one. So the plus sign will become minus. Then we will get the value of this triangle. In the similar way, if we use the value of triangle in this equation, we can get the value of star. Because we will again move the value of triangle from left hand side to right hand side and the sign will become the opposite one. That is minus. So we can get the value of star in that. Is it clear, Roshni? Yes, Roshni, tell me. I can still not understand this sum. Okay, wait, I'm explaining. Just a second. Shruti, what is the answer of number 17? Very good. 17 is correct. Yeah. Now, now do number 18, Shruti. 18, you have to divide in such a way that there is the remainder. That number with which you divide, that is the answer. Okay, see Roshni. Number 19, let's take this as A, this figure as A. Yes, we will take this figure as A. So what can we do? We can write 5A is equal to 4365. So A will be equal to Debangshu, you also see how I solve the sum or try to understand the sum because your answer is also wrong, Debangshu. Okay. Now, Roshni, you tell me from left-hand side of the equal to sign, we are bringing 5 to the right-hand side of the equal to sign. So, what will happen to the sign? Dividing. Very good. Because it is multiplied, we will... While we take 5 to the right hand side, it will become divide. So if you divide 4365 by 5, what is the answer, Vita? Not just the same. Very good. Excellent, Shruti. Now to number 19, Shruti. If you can't understand, you can see how I explain it. Both of them. Ma'am, 18 answer is correct. 18 answer. What is your name? Shivam, Shivam. Rujana, 18 is correct. Udit, 18 is correct. Shivam, 18 is wrong, beta. 973. 900. And 73. Very good. Okay. Shivam, what you have to do uh, in number 18, if you divide 96 by a number, you have to find out whether there is a remainder or not. That is, whether there is a remainder, anything apart from zero. That will be your correct answer, the number with which you are dividing. Okay. So, A is equal to 973. So, what we have to do? Ma'am, I am Shruti. I am can't understand number 19. I am explaining number 19. Let us see, Shruti, what we are doing. 5A is equal to 4365. It is given here. Even you, Udit, if you can't understand number 19, you can see here better. I am explaining the sum. 5A is equal to 4365. So, if we bring 5 from left hand side of the equal to sign to right hand side of the equal to sign, what we have to do, Sruti? Divide. Very good. So, divide 4365 by 5, you will get the answer of A. That is this figure. Divide it both you and Udit. Udit, have you understood this sum up to this point? Tell me, Udit. Ma'am, 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 I am question number. Should 
Yes, Rujana, tell me. Ma'am, uh, you, you are telling to divide 4365 divided by 5, right? Yes. So the answer is uh, 973. No, why the answer will be 973 better? You have to find out the value of this star. Ma'am, ma after dividing it, Yes. After dividing it, the answer will be 972, right? Yes. After dividing it, the answer will be 973, but that is not the final answer. This sign is... Yes, I know that. Yes. I know that. Yes, Rujana. Now tell me, what is your answer? What is your question? Only this question, like... This is the answer. Yes, you can divide 4365 by 5. Have you understood why we are dividing and not following any yes. other method? Yes, ma'am. You can continue now. Okay. Would it, is it clear up to this part better? Shiva makes you land. 18 is correct better. Ma'am, I yes. can't understand number 19. Wait, number 19 I'm explaining Shiva. Would it, is it clear up to this point? Tell me yes or no. Ma'am, number 19 will be 873. <coughs> 873, yeah. Sorry, I'm wrong. Yes. Would it, have you understood number 19 till this point? Are you there, Would it? Udit, unmute yourself and tell me, is it clear till this point? Okay. Shivam C. 5A, this sign we are taking as A. Okay, 5A is equal to 4365. So what we are doing when we are bringing 5 from left hand side to right hand side? Which method will we follow, Shivam? M minus... No, whenever we bring a number from left hand side to right hand side, whichever method is there. For example, here it is following a process of multiplication. 5a means 5 multiplied by a. So whenever we bring it from left hand side to right hand side, it will become the opposite of this sign. That is multiply will become divide. Is it clear to you, Shivam? No, ma'am. See, this is a rule. Whenever we bring a number from left hand side of the equal to sign to the right hand side of the equal to sign, the sign which it follows, it will just become the opposite of that sign. So tell me, Shivam, what is the opposite of multiplication? Ma'am, it is division. Very good. So when we are bringing it to the right hand side, we are dividing it. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so divide this to number and tell me what is the answer. Okay, once this ma class we ends, we will immediately start the other class and it will continue for 15 minutes. Ma'am, which sum we have to divide? 4, 3, 6, 5 and 5. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, number 19 is correct. Wait, let me check. No, 19 is not correct, Pata. So, ma'am, A, A equal to 873, right? 